Shaving can be one of the most unfortunate parts of a man's day. If you're like me and you have dark, coarse facial hair, you're, you're no stranger to things like nicks and cuts and, and uh, razor burn and things like that. So it's very important to learn how to shave correctly and not just use some uh, dollar store Barbasol foam cream that's going to just be a bunch of air and uh, not let you get a good close shave and, and not let you get the, the shave that you need as well as not protect your skin from the types of bumps and, and cuts that you're going to get from cheap disposable razors, things like that. So here's what we're going to be using today. Uh, you're going to have the look from within, literally behind my mirror look. I've got you inside of my shaving cabinet today as we shave. So um, the first thing we're going to have to do is um, take a hot shower to let the hair kind of stand up and soften the hair some. And before we do that though, I'm going to go over all the materials that we're going to use today. Uh, the first thing that we'll be using is a pre-shave oil uh, and that'll go on in step two. We'll also use a shaving cream that lathers and that'll go on in step three. And then we will be using a Schick Hydro uh, in step four with a fresh blade. Uh, we'll be using a badger brush that's part of uh, the cream and then also in step five as we uh, we're gonna as we finish we're gonna use a little aftershave balm okay now that the shower is over we can proceed and as you can tell by my nice steamy mirror we have a nice steam going on in the bathroom and that's what you want you want a nice uh, steamy wet environment uh, like I said it helps soften and lift the hair on your face so we can proceed to step two all right, step two, we're gonna do a pre-shave oil. I'm just gonna get a little bit of hot water. And again, hot water is the key, so we just wanna make sure that we're using, never put the, put cold water on your face. That's gonna, you know, obviously cold water makes things contract. We don't want the hair contracting back up. We're just using a really small amount of pre-shave oil. It's just a drop, I'm sure showing you that. Um, and then we're going to just kind of mix it with some hot water. Just put it on our face. All right, step three is lather. We're gonna use this uh, shaving cream and you really need a very small amount. And as you add water, it will get bigger. I'm gonna use just about a dime size, you know, index fingers worth. I'm gonna put it in an old shaving container just like this and run just a small amount of hot water in here. When the hot water gets in, I'm gonna wet my badger brush. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm going to create a ladder. I'm just gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise, just kind of rotate, just keep changing directions, and just keep lathering this up. Okay, now we've built this nice, rich, foamy lather. You just, it's a trial and error type thing. You just keep adding water until you get to a comfortable uh, kind of medium there. And then you're just gonna lather up. And if you're just lather in small circles, what you're doing here, is you're just kind of teasing the skin and you're kind of adding a, a um, the cream that will you're teasing the hair rather and you're adding a cream that will just kind of soften it make it easier and not make sure that it doesn't pull as it's being cut now that we've completed steps three and four lather and shave with the grain we're just gonna repeat those same steps over and re-lather. We're gonna shave against the grain and that'll help you to get a close shave because I'm sure that's picking up that you can hear. I still have some stubble going on so we can get rid of that. All right, for our last step, step five, all we're gonna do is run some cold water and just close everything up, close all your pores. rinse your skin and then we're going to apply an aftershave lotion balm whatever you want to call it there um, just a uh, you know you can be generous with this there's no reason not to use as much as you want so um, you just put this on and you're good to go hopefully you have a really nice clean close shave thanks